Salam, hi everyone, so welcome back to my channel, Elsa here. So, on to today's video is gonna be another episode of Bestie Talk. Um, before that, the background is different mainly because I'm in a different location. Um, I mean, I'm in Japan, so I decided to film some videos while I'm here. We have such a beautiful weather today, such a sunny day, and um, yeah, that's the reason why. <laughs> um, and the background, like, I'm in the hotel. I'll say like hotel in a bracket because like we have a kitchen and stuff. So yeah, this is a, such a nice place to to stay in, and I'll share like some informations, uh, some informations below where I stay that kind of stuff, and then um, more. I guess videos is on my TikTok and my Instagram. All right, so that's that. So on to today's video, I'm going to talk about um, comparison, how to stop comparing yourself to others. So last time we talked about like self-love and how can we cooperate it in the day-to-day, -day, daily basis kind of situations, right? So today we're just going to talk about like how to stop comparing yourself to others. Um, I think compare is comparing yourself to others can be good and bad depending on how you look at it, right? You can compare yourself to others in order to improve yourself. Like, oh, I saw that person doing that and... He or she is good at it i want to be that or you can on the bad side it's gonna like oh this person get everything life is not fair and then you spiral into a negative thought so we want to how to say like change that mindset like comparing is a good thing in order to improve yourself and in order to see like hey this person managed to do it means i can do it too that kind of stuff right? as much as i'm talking this to you i'm reminding myself because on the good days comparing is good on the bad days comparing it's the worst like it's a kill of joy so especially on social media again like especially like on instagram the highlights the reels the stories is the highlights of the days right you have 24 hours a day the stories is like couple seconds for each stories and people you know might have a good day that day and they want to share some stuff which is like good for them and it can be informative to you right so you have to be careful on how you consume the content and how you like see the stories of others um yeah so let's get started all right on how to stop comparing yourself to others i'm gonna break this into five five, five points um if i'm looking at the sites because i'm looking at my notes um this is what i come up with that i think like sense <laughs> all right first thing first is acknowledge that comparison is a natural tendency as a human we always compare ourselves to other people's right like especially to other people who are better than us we don't look at the one who has less than us and say like oh look at them their life was ever was ever but usually we compare ourselves to the other people who is better it's kind of like oh they have better house better car bigger house like better car better job that kind of stuff and i'm gonna say that it's okay to feel this way because that's just a natural thing to do um, to compare yourself in that situation it's normal but you have to be careful on how you put your thoughts on it right like oh this person has a bigger house that can be an inspiration because if this person can do it and she or he might have like may have like a similar um, daily life routine or like um, doing the same thing the job the life kind of stuff and it can be an inspiration for you to work hard and it's like the person managed to do it I can do it too so we just have to be careful on the thoughts which way that is going negative or positive but naturally compared to others is common Number two, um, in order for you to stop comparing yourself and to feel down and sad is like to focus on your own journey. Remember that everyone has their own path. Everyone is different. Even if you have the same parents, you are individual to your siblings, right? You as a person is different than the others. So in that sense, like you have your own timelines and you have your own progress and you have your own path um for you to go through like some people can say anything and everything it's like oh you have to do this you have to do this you have to do that but then you are the one who have to go through it so you are the one who make the decision a or b next time what do you, what decision do you make c or d they're gonna start so again you today is the outcome of the decision that you make yesterday so if you think that you know today you are not you are not comfortable you are not satisfied you will feel like this is not what i want make a different decision 
so that you have a different outcomes for the future. Don't follow other people. You can have, you can look at other people to set your goals and dreams, that kind of stuff, right? So you know that the path has been carved out for you. So you just have to go through it yourself. There's nothing, no one can do it for you. You have to do it yourself. So yes, focus on your own journey. Number three is to celebrate your wins and practice gratitude. For me, um, on my personal experience, whenever I'm traveling, it makes me on a gratitude vibes. You know what I mean? Like whenever I travel, I see other people, I see other cultures, that's what I mean, other places that I've never been before, that kind of stuff. It makes me feel so grateful that I have the money and the means and the health and uh, the, the, the place that, that I can stay, that I can travel, and all the stuff. So most of the time when I travel, as much as I want to see places and stuff, I want to be in a grateful mindset because it reminds me every day whenever I go somewhere in a foreign country when, while I'm traveling that like how lucky I am to be able to do this, to be able to travel, to have the health, to have the money, to have the friends, for example. Like if I go last time I went to the Europe, I have friends to stay with. They are the ones who bring me around, to show me around and stuff. So I am so grateful for that situation. So that's for me is my way of like reminding myself on how to be grateful and on how to always in the grateful mindset, right? You don't have to be that far away, like oh to travel or that stuff. You can like pick and choose what kind of things that makes you be in that grateful mindset. At the end of the day, for example, you are sleeping on the bed. Like a very comfortable bed, you are so lucky because you are you have a safe home, right? Or in the morning, for example, you go to a coffee shop and you drink a cup of coffee, a very good cup of coffee. That's another thing that can, that you can be grateful for because like you have the money to go to a coffee shop and buy the coffee, right? Because if you don't have enough, even ten cents, you can buy a coffee because who, like who gonna pay for next for the rest of like. 10 cent that you don't have, right? So such a small things that you can celebrate and that you can be grateful for. So I'll say that like, find a small things, even if not like a bigger things, that can remind you like how grateful you are, how lucky you are to be able to do the things that you love. So that's number two. Number four, this is um, social media. Limit your time on social media, either on TikTok, YouTube, on uh, Instagram, all of the social media. Sometimes, most of the time, this social media is a very fast-paced kind of like scrolling and then you can see other people's like wins and highlights and the good times, right? You don't see how if they are struggle to be able to be there. Like you see what you see and then what you see might not might not be everything. I'll say like must be not everything. Um, people might have their struggle that you didn't see because they don't want to share it or they might go through it at the moment that they don't want to share it now they show it they share it later and then you realize that oh this person is actually like struggling at that time but i thought that everything is good right and then for the social media if you think that certain accounts makes you feel sad and make you feel like you are spiral into comparison unfollow them hide them mute them do whatever right some people were saying like oh you are such a coward for putting them on hide or on mute why don't you just unfollow them like i'll say do whatever works for you like fuck whatever other people is thinking do whatever works for you right people can judge but at the end of the day they are not the one who live your life you know what you need you know you know you should know the best for you even if you don't know do it and then you know god will show the way right or like the higher power the universe anything that you you believe in for me i believe in god so i'll say that whenever i feel like something is wrong i'll follow my gut because that's the way that i took it as how god talking to me is through guts, it's through feelings, it's through like things that happens around you. So, you know, pay attention, be in tune with yourself and see like what is the things that people are showing, right? Um, if you feel uncomfortable or on one level or another, mute them. Don't see it. Like if you really want to, if, if social media is your job, for example, then limit your time. Maybe like an hour in the morning, an hour in the afternoon, an hour at night, and then maybe half an hour for you to reply your comments, that kind of stuff. So like plan your day around so that you don't just like scrolling and scrolling for most of the times in your days. So yeah, limit your time on social media. All right, so last but not least is to cultivate self-compassion self -compassion and acceptance. So for me personally, I have some issues, I'll say, like, in order to 
accept things that happen to me that I don't want, right? Like most of the time when you ask for something, like sometimes there's things that happen that you don't don't want it. Like why this has happened to me? This is not what I asked for, but it happened anyway. So I'm I'm learning on how to accept things the way they are and have self compassion for myself. Like if you are lucky if you are surrounded by people who are very supportive, who are very like uh, being a listener to your problems and stuff, but sometimes you don't have it, right? So I am giving some grace to myself. When I feel sad, when I feel tired, I rest. When I feel sad, I take a moment to stop everything that I'm doing and trying to analyze or like trying to think about why I'm sad today. Is it because my hormones? Is it because like some things that I do that I don't want to do? Is it someone that makes me sad? What is it? You know, you don't want to be the negative person or the negative vibe to another people. Um, if you think that like something is bothering you, stop what you are doing and withdraw, right? Try to assess like what is it. Most of the time for me is like that time of the month, a week before I got my period is the worst. I feel so sad for no reason. I feel negative thoughts is like spiraling. I feel like life is not life is not fair that kind of stuff but when i realized that oh i'm getting my period and that makes me it's like it's not it's not a bad life it's just a bad day <laughs> that kind of stuff so i'll say again like have self-compassion be as another thing that i'm learning is to accept myself for who i am for my life for my for my life in general in a sense that like i cannot choose my parents i cannot choose my siblings, I cannot choose that kind of thing, but I can choose what I'm doing with my life at the moment, right? I can choose like, oh, which kind of friends that I want to have in my life. Like, how do I want to react if this friend is going to do this, if I'm going to do that? And then at the same time, I'm being acceptance of my own body because because I know that my body is not as thin that I want it to be. It's not um, shedding out the fat as fast that I want it to be. But on a different level, I am healthy. And then because of these legs and this health that I'm able to travel and then I'm, I'm able to go to, to, to meet my friends for coffee, to go to office, that kind of stuff. So instead of focusing on like how much I don't like my body, I'm appreciating my body, how that, that she is healthy, that she able to bring me to the places that I want to go. Um, and at the same time, trying to change like my um, habit in terms of like um, diets and that kind of stuff like if I'm, and for me I like food so that's my problem I cannot not eat <laughs> I like to eat so that's the things right so for that situation instead of like like eating the whole cups maybe I eat like half of it or quarter of it or something like that so I make a changes like a small changes here and there of course I wish that I'm smaller I wish that I'm thinner I wish that I'm lighter but um, most of all I'm healthy that's the most important things so i'm going to focus on that and then trying to make changes and this is something that you can do as well like like trying to be what is the thing that you don't like be acceptance of it and try to make changes here and there because these changes that can help you to get what you want that kind of stuff so so yeah so that's that um some tips on how can you stop comparing yourself to others i hope this video is helpful for you if you have anything um if you want to chat with me again the comments below or the emails whatsoever um i'll share my tiktoks and my instagram all the all the uh, travel stuff will be on my tiktok i might do like a small video here on youtube but we'll see anyway thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video guys Bye bye